We are today we're going to meet with the oncologist for the first time. We uh, will hopefully be scheduling a biopsy and whatever else they need to do, like a PET scan. Um, I'm not sure exactly what all they will recommend, but today hopefully we'll get some answers as to what the process is moving forward. So I got this new shirt yesterday. It's my cancer shirt. I like it. So that's where we are. Okay. Are you scared? No, I'm a, I'm a little bit excited just to figure out what, what the next steps are. So hopefully we can, everyone else can have some answers along with us and not have to keep waiting and they can know when the surgery would be and stuff, so. Okay. So Jake came up with this really good idea last night about um, keeping a moleskin journal with me to put down any questions that we have um, for appointments and writing down notes that uh, we, you know, get from appointments. So today I'll be implementing this um, with, Jake has one as well for questions, but taking this with me for questions and notes and any research that I want to do after the appointment. And then my new lymphoma journal. Um, the Boma lymphoma. <laughs> the Boma lymphoma after having a breakdown last night after um, just kind of spilling my guts. Jake thought it'd be a good idea, which I agree. Um, to just keep this journal and kind of track my feelings and thoughts and prayers and you've, here. you've already made how many entries? Zero. But I will be making my first one as we're waiting for the appointment as you have to fill out all your paperwork. And you can tell Klaus is preparing for the appointment by being in his favorite spot in the bathtub. Klaus, do you have any words of encouragement? Thank you. So I have all these symptoms. Increased fatigue, fever, sweats, change in weight. Which is, all of these basically are the reason we started going in the first place. No hearing loss, no nose points. You're starting the video with me being unable to unbutton my own Everybody has their skill set, you know. Seriously. So Jake was just informed he has to give some more blood. Which I'm sure will not be the end of this process ever. No. Unfortunately. What tests are these for? Well, so far he has ordered a blood count and a, a chemistry panel. Okay. And he's going to talk to you, find out what's going on with you a little sure. bit. He's going to add more tests on afterwards. I'm trying to avoid having to stick you again. Oh. Being proactive, we like that. We, we try. We don't always get it done right, but, you know, we try to do as much as we can. What's a, would you say, Hold a your chemistry panel? Yep, yeah, sharp stuff down. And what is a chemistry panel? Well, this particular one has... Um, Kidney function, liver function, it'll have blood sugar, sodium, potassium, just some general things like that. Okay. Just kind of gives them a basic picture of what's going on. Relax your hand for me. It's easier said than done, I know. Mm -hmm. Those tubes fill up pretty fast. Find your happy place because it's not here. That's right. But we're nice, so that's okay. That's, <laughs> that's good. We <laughs> like that. 